the electric streamliner, the Buckeye Bullet, driven by C. Taylor. This is from uh, out of Ohio State University. Quarterback. One day, uh, a sponsor asked the team out to dinner where he brought up the idea, hey, if, uh, if my company designs this motor and builds this motor for you, would you students be able to design a car that goes 300 miles an hour? So, of course, everybody was uh, drooling over the, over the idea. I had a small delegation of students in my office. They said, uh, hey, you know, we think we can uh, build a land speed record vehicle. Students indicated that they would like to use SolidWorks, and it took uh, very little time uh, for the students to uh, start showing up in my office with uh, beautiful 3D renderings of what this uh, vehicle might look like, and, uh, and this really aided their packaging studies significantly. Using SOLIDWORKS, the Buckeye Bullet was able to design every component of the car, uh, every bracket, almost down to every nut and bolt of the car. Uh, we really wanted to, to get a good idea of, you know, visualizing the car, where we would run into interferences and things like that. Like a suspension system in a car takes up 10 or 12 cubic feet of room, but on ours it has to take up one cubic feet of room, and they, it has to be just as strong. And so you have to work with clearances, and you have to watch and see if, if this part rotates, it won't hit another part. SOLIDWORKS helped plan the placement of the wires, the location for the batteries, leaving enough space for cooling. So with SOLIDWORKS, we were able to route a solid bar with a system of bell cranks around the motor, identify some interferences, such as where battery packs would get in the way, or the motor, or the transmission and uh, you know, route it all the way up to the front of the car. So the ability to be able to plan all of these things ahead of time before embarking on the task of actually uh, prototyping and constructing components uh, is incredibly valuable and it certainly helped the students accelerate the design process. We did uh, FEA analysis on the chassis at that time. Um, we built a one-third scale model after we did CFD testing. In 2002 we actually started the build of the, of the chassis and the body and things like that. We have two deadlines every year that are very clear. Speed Week and World Finals Week uh, at Bonneville are fixed dates. Uh, and this is a great learning experience for the students, by the way, that uh, in some instances there is this one firm fixed deadline that uh, just needs to be met. I mean, you can come out here in the summer and there's going to be kids every, every night of the week out here till 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. Uh, they're really dedicated. Some people even slept overnight here sleeping outside in the garage, you know, waking up a couple hours later, you know, continue to work on the car. Definitely the salt flats is the pinnacle of the year. You work all year round. October 2002, we ran 256 miles an hour, setting the new national land speed record for electric vehicles. August of 2004, we became the first electric car to break the 300 mile an hour barrier at 308 miles an hour. October 2004, we became the fastest electric vehicle of all time at 321 miles an hour. Setting the national record at over 300 miles an hour is a, a huge jump for electrical uh, drive cars. and A lot of people really saw that we were doing something really fantastic and uh, we got a whole lot of people interested in the car after that. They just simply had a dream and uh, uh, they decided that uh, with their willpower and energy and time that they would be uh, capable to accomplish whatever they wanted. We put in the hours, not, not for the money, but because we love it. I think the combination of all of the uh, surrounding elements uh, that these uh, students had access to, together with the ability to use powerful computational tools such as SOLIDWORKS and finite element analysis and CFD, have enabled the students to accomplish in a relatively short time something that professional teams have sometimes a harder uh, time accomplishing.